In this video, we will demonstrate some of Power Factory's power quality and harmonic analysis tools. Study case harmonics without filters should be active. This industrial network contains some loads which are non-linear. This means that they draw harmonic components in addition to the fundamental frequency component. Our aim here is to quantify the level of harmonic distortion caused by the nonlinear loads in this network. Let us have a look at two DC motors, which are connected to our industrial network via rectifiers. In the rectifier dialog, on the power quality harmonics page, we can see that the harmonic spectrum is defined using an idealized six pulse bridge model. The harmonic load flow command is found in the toolbox for power quality and analysis. The calculation can be run using this button. The command has already been configured, so we will execute the calculation. To show the results in a distortion diagram, the buzz bar of interest is selected, then we use right click, show, distortion diagram, harmonic distortion. Note, that by default the fundamental frequency is not shown on the plot. We would like to check compliance with the international standard, IEC 61036, so let us add the relevant limits to the plot, and select a style. As we can see, some of the harmonic distortions are outside limits. Let us have a look at the results for buzz bar 6, where these loads are connected to the network. Now we can see, that the problem with harmonics is just a local issue, most of the harmonic distortions on the other side of the transformers are within acceptable limits. Another interesting case is busbar 38, because here the load, L38, is also a harmonic source. Let us look at the results for this busbar. Here, the problem is more evident. And we can see that other consumers could be affected. Before implementing harmonic filters to mitigate damaging harmonics, let us have a look at the current and voltage waveforms. In order to do this, the variables of interest to be recorded must be defined. We can see that this has already been done, so the results should be available. This button can be used to create the waveform plots. Here we will plot the current seen on line CT11-1. We can see the effect of the six pulse bridge currents from the load element. Copy and paste can be used to add a second plot to the page. Here, the voltage at bus bar 38 will be plotted. We can also add the harmonic distortion plot to the same page, to have a better overview. In order to solve this harmonic distortion problem, we will introduce some harmonic filters. To do this, we will activate the study case harmonics with filters. We notice that the operation scenario, filters on, is now active. The three filters we see here, previously marked out of service, are now in service. Let us run the calculation again, and look at the impact on the system. 
the harmonic distortion values have been decreased to a more acceptable level. For comparison, we can add the results from the previous study case, without filters, to the plots. This allows us to have a better overview of the solution. We can clearly see how the harmonic distortion is reduced, when the filters are in service.